Hi guys, I have a space problem today and you guys may know I'm a total space nerd. I work in the space industry, so I would love to solve this question with you guys today. But anyways, this is a not circular motion question. Actually, yeah, it is. I Yeah, I forget if that's like the correct term, but yeah, circular motion problem. And yeah, let's get started on it. So I actually have a diagram in the corner. It's Earth and the Sun. With this type of question, we don't really typically need a diagram just because there's not really anything to draw. It's just the radius of the Sun, uh, sorry, the radius of the Earth's orbit around the Sun and then the time, which you can't really draw that out. So I just have a diagram for fun. And I know that I've kind of uh, drew, drawn this like black arrow that goes from the Sun to the Earth to illustrate the radius, but you know, the real radius when we have like two objects, I guess, is from the center of mass of each. So this diagram is not really to scale or to, it's just for fun, really. But okay, so we said that the radius is 1.5 and times 10 to the 8 kilometers. Okay, so let me actually read the question now so that we're all on the same page. The radius of the Earth's orbit around the sun, assumed to be circular, is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers, and the Earth travels around this orbit in 365 days. A, what is the magnitude of the orbital velocity of the Earth in meters per second? B, what is the radial acceleration of the Earth toward the sun in meters per second squared? C, repeat parts A and B for the motion of the planet Mercury. Orbit radius is equal to 5.79 times 10 to the 7 kilometers. And orbital period is 88.0 days. Okay, so let's start with our knowns. Let's write them down. So we know that the radius, I'm going to write that in, like write that down as R. The radius of the Earth's orbit around the sun is equal to 1.50 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. And then the time, the, the orbit is 365 days. So that's like the period. You know what, I'm going to write that in capital T. I think that might be more aligned with a lot of the notation that's out there. So, oh, I just wrote 356. No, 365. Okay, 365 days. And those are our knowns. Okay, but you know how in part A it says we want the orbital velocity in meters per second? Well, we have kilometers and we have days. So why don't we just go ahead and do this unit conversion at the beginning so we don't really have to convert units at the end. I think it'll just be easier to get it out of the way right now. So for R, right, 1.50 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. Well, we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. And that is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. And then, well, that's because, you know, we cancel out kilometers and we're just left with meters. So it's going to be 1.50 times 10 to the 8 times 1,000 meters is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. All right. And then what about time? So time is equal to 365 days. And if we want to do the unit conversion for this, we know that one day, in one day, there are 24 hours. And then in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And then in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So all together, I have my calculator with me. All together, if we, you know, days is going to cancel out with days, hours is going to cancel out with hours, minutes is going to cancel out with minutes, and 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 is equal to 31,536,000 seconds in a year or in 365 days. Okay, so we have our period and we have our radius in seconds and meters respectively. 
Awesome. Okay. So now for the analysis part. Okay. If we want to find what the orbital velocity of the Earth is in meters per second, what do we have to do? Well, we have to use, instead of just me showing you the formula, let's think about it. So if we have this orbital velocity around the sun, right, and we know that this is going to be assumed to be circular, right, according to the question, that means, let me just run, let me underline that nicely. Okay, we, we know that speed, right, so speed is equal to distance, over time, right? And we know that the distance for a circle, right? So if we're doing a circular orbit, it's going to be two pi r, right? Because that's the radius, that's the circumference of a circle. So it's gonna be the distance that the earth travels. And then the time is going to be the period it takes to travel that distance. And so now we're just gonna plug in our values. It's gonna be two pi times r, And then the period, which is this number, I don't want to say again. And all together, when I divide that out, what I'm getting is Twenty nine thousand eight hundred eighty five point seven seven five seconds or meters per second. Sorry, meters per second. So that is going to be the orbital. That's going to be the orbital velocity, right? So two point nine eight eight six times ten to the four meters per second. So that is part A for us. Okay, now what is the radial acceleration towards the sun in meters per second squared? Well, we know that the, I'm going to actually go ahead and maybe erase this, erase this diagram. Actually, no, let's keep the diagram. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to erase this part and write down our knowns a little bit nicer. Okay, so this is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. And then this is going to be 31536000 seconds. Okay. And now I can probably go ahead and do part B in the top corner. Awesome. Like right over here. That's not, that's not right. Okay. B. So radial acceleration towards, of the earth towards the sun. Well, we know that radial acceleration a rad is equal to v squared over r. So really all we have to do is plug in our orbital velocity, right? And that is 2.9886 times 10 to the 4. And then we're going to square that because that's what the formula says over the radius, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 11, right? And when we do that, and remember that this is going to be meters squared over second squared, right? Because we have meter over second squared, and this is just going to be meters. So when I plug that into my calculator, what I'm getting is, I'm getting 5.95 times 10 to the negative three meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration. That's the radial acceleration in meters per second squared. All right, so that that's it for part A and B. Now,
for part C, we're going to have um, new knowns. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this board and then we can go ahead and do the problem again by writing down our knowns for Mercury. So for Mercury, Mercury, what we have is our radius. It's going to be 5.79 times, I hope I'm recording my voice. Okay, good. Sometimes I go ahead and I record an entire tutorial, but I'm muted. And it just drives me insane because then, you know, that's like 20 minutes for nothing. Okay, so 10 to the seven kilometers. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the unit analysis right here, right now. And we know that there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. And that's going to be 5.79 times 10 to the three. Oh no, it's our 10 to the seven, 10 to the 10 meters. Meters. Okay. And then for the period, right, it's going to be T is equal to 88 days. And again, we're going to do our unit analysis right over here. So that's going to be in one day, we have 24 hours. And then in one hour, we have 60 minutes. And then in one minute, we have 60 seconds. And all together, what that means is 88 times 24 times 60 times 60. And that gives us 7,603,200 seconds. All right, so now for part A. For part A, we know that speed orbital speed as before, it's going to be two pi r over the period, which is two pi times 5.79 times 10 to the 10 meters over the period, which is this number right over here. I'm not gonna say it aloud again. And all together, when I do that, I get forty seven thousand eight hundred and forty seven point eight meters per second. All right, so that's the orbital speed or the orbital velocity of Mercury around the sun. And then for part B, we're just gonna want the acceleration, right? Which is V squared over R. So we're gonna have 47,847.8 meters per second and then square the whole thing over R, which is we said, oh, which is we said um, the, un oh no, oh no. Why did it just do that? Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, which is 5.79 times 10 to the 10 meters. And when I plug that into my calculator, what I'm getting is 3.5 times 10 to the negative two meters per second squared. Just gonna double check. Perfect, yeah. So that's the orbital acceleration that I'm getting. This is the orbital velocity that I'm getting. All right, so that's it for problem 3.28. I hope you found that helpful. As usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. If you have any other 
you know, questions or if you're interested in some more detail or if you're too shy to leave a question in the comments, um, please feel free to send me an email. You can find it under, I think, like my about. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye.